Hey guys, welcome back to the Another Excuse podcast, where we usually chat to founders, creators, and self-starters about how they started and where they are now. But today's show is going to be slightly different. It's going to be a solo episode with just me, and it's going to be in line with the holiday season and doing an exercise where we take note of what we're grateful for and give thanks for what we have in our lives. I think it's really important to take a step back and be grateful for things. So hopefully this exercise helps you, um, helps you take a beat and hopefully you can use it in the weeks, days, years to come. I found this exercise to be really, really helpful and I really hope you find it helpful too. Enjoy the show. Hey guys, welcome to the first of two holiday shows. I felt like people may not be listening as much over the holidays and I didn't want to waste an episode of one of my guests while I'm in this growing phase. So I thought if the listener numbers take a dip over the holiday season, why don't I take the hit myself by doing some holiday themed episodes that could work as evergreen content that people could refer back to and use in their daily lives. Of course, I still want to make the episodes informative and worth your time or else it'll be pointless me sitting here putting in the hours trying to make this episode in the first place. So today I'm going to walk you through a reflection exercise to look back over the year and appreciate what we're grateful for. I really find that taking note of what you're grateful for can be a really useful exercise. I list three things I'm grateful for every morning when I do my morning journal and it really puts things in perspective for me. It helps us appreciate what we've had and how much progress we've made. Sometimes we get caught in the weeds and we forget how far we've really come. And so just to take stock of our lives and where we're at right now can really help motivate us and help us start on the right foot in the new year. So if you just devote a little bit of time to this, you'd be surprised at how great you feel afterwards. So let's dive right in. I'll go over it quickly and hopefully you can take away something useful from this nice short episode. There's one big main question that needs answering and that is what am I truly grateful for in my life? You should aim to give at least five answers but understandably this can be extremely difficult for many of us. It is such a broad question And it's quite difficult to figure out where to even begin answering a question like this. So to get some answers out of you and out of myself, I thought I'd make the questions slightly easier to answer by asking more specific questions. Usually these more specific questions can pull out answers that make sense, but also help us reflect just in the same way and help us achieve the goal of gratitude and listing things that we're grateful for. So I'll answer each one myself just to give you an example because hey I'm sitting here right now and so I may as well complete the exercise too and then we'll recap the questions at the end so you can go away and tackle them yourself if you feel like it'll be useful which I think it will. Cool so the first is what's unique about the relationships I have? Now, this may seem like a strange question, but it it gets you to reflect on the relationships you have. It helps you realize that they're unique to you and that's what makes them meaningful. To answer the question, I'm grateful for the relationships I have because they're the ones I've kept going. And by kept going, I mean they're the ones that I've maintained and wanted to put some love and attention towards. So many have fizzled out because of my lifestyle changes. I mean, I quit drinking almost four years ago now. And with that decision comes slightly different social situations. And some people can't really handle that choice. And that's okay. Um, And so some of it has happened naturally. And some of it has been because maintaining the relationships began to feel like a chore. Um, And this did take some time to come to terms with, but it's now helped me realize that the relationships I do have and the friendships I have are really meaningful to me. And I'm really grateful for that. 
So to list a few, I moved to London about a year and a half ago. And one of the main reasons was to be closer to my brother. And this was such a hugely beneficial decision for my like mental health and just being closer to family as I wasn't close to any family for about four and a half years. So spending more time with them has been extremely valuable for me. Another one is Annie, my girlfriend, pushing me in the best way possible. She believes in me and knowing that I can do better. And so I'm really grateful for her role that she's played in driving me to be the best person I can be. And I know that won't stop and we bring out the best in each other. So I'm really grateful for that. I'm also grateful for my creative supportive parents. Uh, I don't think I would have started this podcast if they hadn't been as creative as they are. And uh, I think being around them growing up made me gravitate towards doing things like this and speaking to a camera and being comfortable in front of it or relatively comfortable. Um, I'm still getting there, I think, but I'm really grateful for that. And I'm also grateful for my younger sister. And we have quite a large age gap between us. And so our relationship is unique to most siblings. And I really appreciate the time she calls upon me to give her advice and watching her become the amazing young woman that she's becoming. And finally, another relationship or relationships that spring to mind are my friend circle has shrunk in a way, but I don't feel like there's anything wrong with that because the friends that I do have are really meaningful to me and I'm really grateful for them. And to be honest, I don't think I tell them that enough. And so, see, this is another benefit of doing an exercise like this is now I know I need to reach out to my close friends and tell them that I'm grateful for them. So yeah, hey, there's benefits to this thing. Great, so that's the first question. The second question is, what do I take for granted? And there are many answers to this question. With lifestyle creep and comparing ourselves to others, we tend to lose perspective. So what do I take for granted? One thing is being warm in cold winters. I mean, that's an easy one, but we tend to forget that not everyone is warm in the winter time. And so I'm really grateful for that. Another one is having a roof over my head, which kind of ties into the being warm in winter. But again, um, we forget how lucky we are to have a roof over our head, as simple as that. And another one is just having use of all my limbs and being able to exercise and play the sports I love. Um, I'm also grateful for access to food and not having to think about where my next meal is going to come from. I'm extremely grateful that I live in a country where I can make an honest living um, and that it is completely up to me as to how successful I am. And there's no outside circumstances determining whether I can even make it to work that day or work still going to be there when I get back tomorrow. Yeah, there's just so many things that we take for granted. Another one is I'm even grateful for something as what seems so trivial now, but like the internet and being able to record this podcast episode and share my thoughts with the world. It wasn't possible like a few years ago and not many people have the equipment available to them to even do this. So I'm grateful for that. And that takes us on to our third question. And that is what freedoms, unique abilities and options do I have that others don't? I like this one because it highlights that we each have unique freedoms and options that others might not have. For me, I'm able to work abroad. Being born and raised in South Africa, quite a few people don't have or aren't as fortunate as myself and don't have the means or the ability to work in another country. I mean, the passport isn't that strong and so it is really tricky unless you have some sort of ancestry tied to another country. And so I'm really, really fortunate 
that I'm able to work here in the UK. I'm also really grateful that I had the means to travel when I did. Um, and although I got to Hong Kong with not much money to my name, it was the most beneficial life experience for me. It changed my perspectives and really opened my eyes to so many different perspectives and cultures and I'm forever grateful for that. And I'm also really grateful that I've met people and learned many things that have positively changed my thoughts and my perspective and also just simply being more open to that. I'm in a position where I have many options and I'm so lucky to be in that position as I know not many are. And so, yeah, I think that sums up my answers to question three. Um, they may have seemed a bit more vague than the others, but I feel like it's a broad, broad question. But maybe if you're able to niche down a bit better than I am, then then go for it. As I said, this exercise is extremely helpful. The fourth question really makes me reflect on some contentious issues. And the question is, what advantages have I been given in my life? Well, just by looking at me, if you are watching this episode on YouTube, is that the color of my skin and my gender. Um, obviously, those two things come with their own benefits. And I'm extremely fortunate that I haven't had to deal with as many shortcomings and indifferences as other races and genders have had to deal with. I'm still learning about them all but one thing I definitely know for sure is that I've had the easy ride and so I suppose I could only be grateful for that um, and so I'm also really grateful for a loving and supportive family. No matter what decision I've made they've supported me and I really appreciate that. And my education I mean, not many people have been able to get a tertiary education. And so I'm fortunate for all the schooling that I've gone through. And I'm really, really lucky. I'm just a bit conscious that I don't want to hop on. I just want to help drive each of the questions home with a few supporting answers. So, um, but yes, I'm, as you can tell, I'm very fortunate and extremely grateful for everything that's come my way. And on to the final question, which allies and supporters have helped me to get to where I am? This is also an interesting question because everyone has re relied upon their networks in different ways. To be honest, I don't think I have leveraged my network enough. It's something I'm unlearning as I previously used to make assumptions that I'm burdening someone and they wouldn't want to help me. But that's all it is. It's an assumption. Rather let that person decide whether they want to help you. And you'd be surprised at how many people are actually willing to help. I'm really grateful for the people I've met and the opportunities that have come from them. I intend to rely on these people more going forward. It's going to be a hard thing to overcome for me, but I've seen the value in using your network and just asking people questions and picking up the phone. And those small actions can go a long way and completely change the trajectory of your life. So that's something I'm going to want to do more of going into the new year. And that wraps up the simple gratefulness exercise or whatever you'd like to call it. As you can see that although the big question of what am I truly grateful for in my life is kind of difficult to answer and seems quite overwhelming, uh, when you focus on the question on the different aspects of your life, it becomes a lot easier to answer. And it shows just how much there is to be grateful for. If you haven't taken the time out of your day to just log the, the things you're grateful for, even if it's just three simple things, that can really change your whole day. So before we end, I just want to list off the five questions again, just in case you wanted to do this exercise for yourself and didn't want to flick through the episode in between my babbling. So the first one is, what's unique about the relationships I have? Number two is, what do I take for granted? Number three is, what freedoms, unique abilities, and options do I have that others don't? Number four is, what advantages have I been given in life? And number five is, which allies and supporters have helped me to get to where I am? 
hopefully this episode was helpful and caused you to reflect over the holidays or whenever other time you're listening to this. If it is over the holidays, I wish you a very happy break. And if you aren't listening to this over the holidays, carve out some time to sit down and appreciate the things in your life. It's such a useful exercise and it truly puts things into perspective. Thanks for listening, everyone, and see you next week. Thanks for listening. I really appreciate you making it all the way to the end. I hope you enjoyed the episode. One more quick reminder before you go. I have a weekly newsletter by the same name, Another Excuse, where I cover four topics, something that has changed my perception, a tool that could be useful to you, content that is actually worth consuming, and a concept that I try break down and explain. If this sounds of any interest to you and you need a kick up the ass, then you can subscribe at the link below. Thanks for joining me again and I'll see you next week.